Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have a Kickstarter project. One week to go by the time you guys see this. It's called Arum One, world's first professional AR measuring device. Transform your smartphone into a professional AR multifunction, multifunctional measuring and leveling device. Uh, so I actually did this video a couple days ago and my hard drive crashed. So uh, this is actually my second try at reviewing this product. Uh, and the reason I'm actually going back and bothering to redo it is because I did a very similar project uh, that you will see tomorrow. And I but then I realized, oh crap, I don't have this video. So I wanted to have them together. So this one is actually a AR add-on that you put on your phone. So here it actually is. So it's actually a laser range finder that clicks into your phone through, in this case, I guess it's a lightning port on an iPhone. And on this end, it's got charging and whatever. This end, it has a laser range finder. It basically bounces a laser off something and then using the camera and knowing the distance between the camera and, uh, and the laser, it can actually do the geometry on things that it sees in real life. So basically, if I take a picture of this cabinet and I know exactly how far away I am uh, from, say, this point and this point, then I can do the geometry, basically. And then also, if I know this point, then I can figure out, okay, this whatever cabinet is 79 centimeters tall and 178 wide. So that's actually pretty cool. So it can do lines. It can then figure out angles. It can do all kinds of stuff. So let's play it a little bit. Measurement is an essential part of home improvement. However, the measuring tools have not got any radical innovation for decades. Sort of the not measuring true. tape has a limited range, and you have to worry about sagging and misreading. When the distance gets long, you have to use a marking flag or need an extra hand. So, the actually, laser this is innovation in the last couple of decades is using lasers, but that's basically measuring point out like... limited for single purpose use. It's good it for leveling. It is not even able to measure a table because there is no target to reflect off the laser. You could put Arum something there. One is the first AR multi-functional measuring device that actually works. It is... So this is actually pretty cool. Um, you know, you can... From across the room, you can basically measure all kinds of things. Um, you can measure circumferences of circles you can calculate areas way better than any other measuring tools available in the so like for example if you're trying to estimate the size of a room uh you're trying to buy carpet etc so um one of the cool things uh that i like is the fact that it basically works from a distance so even if it's like a really high window you could basically zap it and measure it um and so they do some demonstrations of how it works Super beam Use it to point at the start of the line. Tap so super the button, simple. then point at the end, and tap the button again. That so one of the things is it's not just using the, the distance and the size on camera, it's using the uh, accelerometer and gyroscope on your phone to basically estimate, and the compass, I guess, estimate the angles between things. So how far up you're tilted from horizontal, or left to right, how much you've turned, etc. So that's actually pretty that's cool. The line and the dimension are shown on the screen. As we use the augmented reality technology, you can walk around while the line and dimension are still displayed in the original place. So this is all pretty cool. Um, the problem is fundamentally, if I'm just from the screen of my phone aiming a laser, is it really you know at the exact edge? If I have to bounce a laser off something, I'm, I'm gonna probably be a little bit away from the edge. Am I going to lose, you know, 0.1? Am I going to lose a millimeter or two? Am I going to lose a centimeter or two? Um, depends on how far away it is. If I'm doing, especially if I'm doing, this case, they, you actually measure several points on a circle and it can sort of estimate the diameter and radius, etc. Um, is that also really dependent on how good my aim is? So I think this is good for very rough measurements, um, not necessarily for. You know, for, so for telling where to put a picture, getting things level, okay, that's probably pr pretty pretty good. Um, it's got some cool function to like basically help break up a wall if you wanted to hang multiple pictures. Vertical reference lines passing through the trisection points. Switch to leveling function. Create a horizontal reference line on the wall. 
Now you can hang the pictures based on these reference lines. So it's precision pretty cool. Is our top they say precision. Priority. Aram 1 has the precision of plus minus 1.5 millimeters within 20 meters range. To achieve the 1.5 millimeters within 20 meters. So again, but that's just depending on how shaky your hands are and getting that laser. And then by the time you push the button on the phone, now the phone's moved. I don't think it's really that accurate. I, I would say, yeah, if you put it on a tripod, this level but of just accuracy, with, your, Aram 1 use with your iPhone 6 or 7, or 10, not a not a plus. Kind of shaky. This is a series of sophisticated technologies. There are a few AR measuring apps on the market. However, if you have ever tried them, you would find out that they are just a concept demo, as they all depend on the software hit test results. So, I guess what they're saying is basically because there's no range finder, you know, you'd have to have a reference distance um and everything else just through the camera, so it's it's definitely going to be lacking. Um, actually, it turns out there is one. Let me see if I can still do it. Uh, Stanley. Here we go. Stanley Pro Measuring Tool. So there actually is a professional. When tapes are product inconvenient or not long enough, that is similar. Can now be as simple as taking a photo. Introducing Stanley Smart Measure. So when they say first ever professional, yada yada yada, that's actually not necessarily true. This product, Pro, a laser measuring device and app that works with your smartphone and tablet. Take photos. Is actually somewhat similar. They they do mention it here, and I don't know if it's in the video or in the FAQ. Somewhere in the in the thing, they actually compare to these guys, which are expensive, and they compare to um, some of the other software besides the Stanley one. Oh, I think it was in the. Uh, Someone asked questions in the comments or something like that. Um, so they did mention that this one doesn't work as well as theirs because it it basically takes a picture. Um, so it it takes a picture, and then it also takes one distance. It doesn't do what theirs does, which is like measure the distance from the camera to here and the pic distance from the camera to there, et cetera, et cetera. So um, in this case. It's assuming it's a flat plane and that you're sort of dead on. And so it misses a lot of measurements, whatever, parallax height, angle and stuff width, like that. Area, length, and target location. There's even a built-in estimating function for estimating project materials. Whether estimating so, residential or commercial you know, jobs, if you're straight on, okay, this is probably pretty accurate. Um, but they claim this one can do things that the other one can't do, that, that the Stanley one can't do. So that's cool. I think they could probably actually, if they just fix the software, they could probably do the same thing with this though. Though so, uh, and maybe they have. I haven't kept up with, with to see if they've innovated since the 2016 release. Um, but you can see here, like my concern about the accuracy is right there. So like, let's say if I wanted to really measure, what is this, like a laptop or something like that? If I really wanted to measure the, uh, the actual angle here. Okay, that's a pretty big dot that's kind of far off from the real corner. If I'm too far off, maybe I miss it. So I gotta be sort of over here, so I'm gonna be off by whatever, a couple minutes in the angle. Clearly this is not the edge, so what's going on here? So that's just one example of like, there's gonna be some inherent limitations on the software, or the, not the software, the measurement accuracy. And that comes from the human. So, um, Anyway, $79 actually is not so bad. But you know this thing doesn't really cost that much. It should be cheaper. Um, if it was cheaper, I think it would have a much higher... Like, it's hard to say no at that point. Um, I could see, though, if you're... you know, So I just moved my uh, into a new house a couple... It's been almost two months now. Um, you know, that first couple days before you move in, you just have to measure everything go back and forth a tape measure just having the AR function to be able to record all this stuff on screen super helpful so I don't have to climb up to the ceiling and figure out all the angles that would actually be really nice I like this um, the other one that I was uh, referencing in the beginning that's a similar similar application is a completely different technology this is called Mosher which is a motion measuring tool so it basically uses inertial measurement um, to have this little hockey puck thing and you move it around basically you can walk from like one end of something to the other and if 
you put it here and then you measure it here it basically measures as you bounce around like the inertial distance from there and then it also uses the angles and and whatnot from the magnetometer the compass basically and it can tell like distance uh and apparently they need you to stop every once in a while and sort of you know sort of get a reference point in between um and so this thing claims it can do i think it's like half an inch over 10 feet so it's not super perfect but you could measure it a couple times so this is a completely different technology that could do some things better than uh air on one but other things not as well so for example if you wanted to measure the area here or the height here you can't do it with this thing unless you get a ladder or your arms are really long the air on one could basically do that just from looking from far away right so uh, I like that about this I like that it's different it's a different approach and in some cases a better one like okay a laser and a camera is pretty cool um, the other it, thing with this one you should watch the video for that is actually the accelerometer is built into your phone already you could just use that and they actually have a iPhone app so you don't really need the hockey puck that costs 150 bucks or whatever it is um, so anyway uh, one application that this one can do that the other one can't do is you could literally measure from like this wall to this wall even though there's a wall in between so it doesn't have to be line of sight this could be like a solid wall but you can basically measure from here to like around the corner and get a rough estimate at least um, they say it can go up to a thousand feet it's actually probably better um, to do really rough things like measuring things outside um, but it can do things that aren't in line of sight or aren't within kind of straight lines and stuff so that's actually pretty cool so two different technologies for similar things but basically each one is sort of excels at certain things um, yeah so this one I'm sure there's a there's a distance on the how far the laser can reach and stuff um, other stuff they've got a lot of info works with different kinds of phones um, they compare it of course obviously accuracy I don't know about this one I think it really depends on if you've got it on a tripod or not um, they have a team these guys are I think what are they like design engineering students um, so that's cool Imperial College London at least it's not some anonymous uh, no name people, although they don't know if they really go too far into their into their backgrounds. Um, lots of comments, lots of answers. That's always good. Um, and one of the cool things is that this is mostly software, right? So this can be extended and improved. So it's something that like you're buying now, you're buying this, but this is the relatively simple part. Um, the software can hopefully keep improving and keep adding functions as time goes on. One of the questions is if they're really making their money from this and not from the app. Are they incentivized to keep really developing it, or is this like a one-off and it's done? Um, that's something I guess you got to take a chance on. They're giving updates. They just put this out, what, today? So today as I'm filming this. Uh, floor plan, early development version, taking measurements. Uh, so they've got info here. You can check these things out. But there's a real person here. They have uh, answers. I don't think they give a warranty. But, um, you know, at least they're there, they'll answer. Um, they're pretty confident that they can get things out on time. I think they're supposed to deliver by September, November, or something like that. What is it? September? Probably October if you're not early bird. Um, that's not so far off. If they've got the software working, you know, obviously that would be a big step. Um, so I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's not going to be a huge thumbs up because it's a little bit pricey. Um, but overall, I like the technology. I like the fact that, you know, it's putting, it's making life easier for, you know, homeowners and things like that. Something that, you know, especially if you're like a, I don't know, real estate agent or a contractor who does carpeting or something like that, like this could actually be super useful. Um, it could be a useful part of your, you know, your sales thing where you go and take a picture and then send the people like the estimate showing exactly why you know you're charging them this much for this much carpet or whatever um, so in that respect you know maybe not for the average user where seventy nine dollars would be kind of a waste of money for an expensive measuring tape but for prosumer type people maybe actually kind of worth it anyway so that's it for today if you guys enjoy this video give us a thumbs up consider subscribing and definitely check out our other videos here on go kick me 
follow us on Facebook and Twitter at GoKickMe and check out GoKickMedia.com. Thanks and bye.